Hey guys and welcome back to Client Climate Hope City. Um, now this is a little project I've been working on for the last week or so um, with a couple other people, Blockworks, who built this, um, uh, the common people whose brainchild this kind of is, as always. And um, yeah, my involvement is really that I've built the power grid that this city actually uses. Now basically what this is, is a city of tomorrow uh, that basically um, shows using existing technologies what a city of the future could possibly look like. So all of the uh, technologies in the city or, or the technologies that we, um, we incorporate into the city is already available today. So basically what my part of this really was, was to visualize uh, the power grid. So I've basically built a power grid uh, in Minecraft that then basically controls this whole the power to most of the city. Now what I'm going to be showing you today, uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail in the mechanics of it, which I will do slowly but surely. I'll break it down at in later episodes. But what I am going to show you is just kind of how it all roughly works. First off, on the right hand side, you can see I've got my dashboard. Now what this dashboard does, it just shows me all of the different power sources that I have. So I've got water power, which is hydroelectricity. I've got wind power, which is from wind farms. I've got solar power from solar panels, other powers. Now this is any auxiliary powers that you might use, whether it's, um, you know, fossil fuels, which is bad, uh, but I don't know, any other kind of fuels or power you might use. And then we've got kinetic power. Now you see kinetic power is actually turned off, but as I'm walking, you will see that it actually uh, charges up. Okay, now it's just that this world, uh, all of the pavements, all of the tiles is kinetic tiles, which basically as you walk over them generates a small amount of uh, electricity. Uh, and if there's larger crowds, you'll see that this will go up quite substantially. Right, so in the center here, I have got a very good visualization of what power is currently uh, charging up the battery. So you'll see over here, I've got the other power. Uh, over here, I've got the kinetic kinetic power, which is not, you know, it's it's frozen at the moment because I'm not actually running around. We've got water power, so our hydroelectricity is doing quite well. Uh, we've got our uh, our solar power over there that's doing really well as well because we've got quite a few solar panels. Um, and then we have uh, our wind. Oh, sorry, that was water. It's hydro, and this is our wind power. Okay, so basically, what happens? This just shows that this charges up. Okay, and when it reaches the top, the power then gets transferred into one of these batteries. Okay, so you can see there's the power. So as these, let me sand the side. So as those reach the top, okay, you'll see that it adds one to the power grid over here. Okay, um, and then over time, this will really fill up this whole big battery system that I've that I've got here. Okay, at any time, uh, like for example, you'll see now that the solar power has stopped. Okay, because ta-da, it's nighttime. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, it is absolutely, you know, it, it, it works on the day, daytime, day, nighttime cycles. Okay, but the rest of the power is still going on. Kinetic is still, still uh, not, not because I'm not running. So let me just run a bit. There we go. And you'll see the kinetic power uh, going up as I am moving around. Okay, there we go. Okay, now, um, the whole idea about this is to see what implications adding more wind farms has, what what, what implications uh, adding more hydropower has um, to the overall power grid of the city. Then each building you see in this actual world is connected to the power grid and draws power from this main grid over here. So, uh, I mean, all of these buildings you can see over here, all of these domes, okay, but well, that's my solar farm, or oh, that's the solar farm. Um, so all of these buildings basically is drawing power from the grid that I will, the power drain and the power grid, I will show in the next video. Okay. I'm not going to show it right now. Right. So, um, so the power as, as you are using things, as buildings are using things, uh, the, using power as the lights go on and when it's nighttime, the power grid drains faster. Um, it just becomes kind of like a bit of a s real life s manage some management on how to, uh, manage the power flow. So at any time I can turn off. So let's just turn off the other power. You'll see then on the on my dashboard over here that's stopped. I can turn off the wind power. Solar power is already off. I can turn off hydro power and I can turn off kinetic power. Okay, so I've just turned just turn everything off, and this will just 
freeze it. So if, the, for example, there's a storm brewing, when it starts raining, um, my I do need to turn off my wind, wind turbines because it will actually cause damage to them if they uh, move too fast. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's go and have a look at the main substation. I will explain this in a later video how this all works. So here's the main substation. This is directly fed from the city's batteries. Okay, this is the main battery over here. And then it fills up this one and then moves on to that one, fills that one up, uh, moves on to this one, fills that one up, goes right round and then starts at the top. So this battery over here is always the last to finish. Okay, so if I just, I'm just going to reset it. I did have a reset in here just to show you guys. So if I just um, reset this, okay, you'll see on the right hand side, my uh, display is now gone. You'll see that the batteries have now completely been drained. Okay, so the batteries have been drained. So if I just click turn everything back on again, uh, like so. Oopsie. Okay, so just to get stuff uh, running again, um, you'll see that once this all reaches the top, it will then uh, place a battery over there. Let's just, uh, it'll, and it'll start charging up. So it takes a little bit of time to charge up. There we go. You'll see that charged up. Okay, so connected to this main battery, we have our main battery. Uh, power generator capacitor whatever you want to call it which then provides power to the whole city over here we've got the north quarter power grid or power con main power condu conduit over here we've got the west main power conduit over here we've got the south quarter and over here we've got the uh, east quarter so if we just really run into these conduits so you can just see that this basically runs along the whole line of the city so as you can see very very long corridor that just sends this power straight through the whole city okay I'll explain the rest of it in a moment okay so if what I'm just going to show you is if I just drain this battery again so if I just reset everything again okay um, I just reset everything again you'll see that I now have no power okay there's no power running through any of these things as you can see uh, no power no power at all but as soon as my battery is charged up, which you'll see in a, in a moment, it'll it'll charge up uh, and it'll then activate the power grid again. All right, so there we go. Boom. Right, so let's go and have a look at how this grid is set up. So uh, the, as I said, the grid runs the whole length of uh, the city uh, in a northeast, west and south uh, uh, directions. This is the main power conduit with the actual um, access walkway. Uh, when you get the little gold blocks like these, okay, these are superconductors, uh, they then branch out, okay, and they then run uh, in a 16 by 16, well, really roughly a 16 by 16 grid throughout the city. So this whole city has got power running underneath it. But how do we hook it up to a building? So let me just quickly uh, go and f go to one of the access tunnels for the, there we go. So over here, we've got a biosphere. So as you can see, we've got this hooked up onto uh, the main building input over here. So if we just quickly, uh, let me just quickly show you how this is set up. So as you can see over here, this building is powered. Okay, so as you can see, it is powered and the power is running through here. And this is the main box that then feeds all of the lamps, all of the mechanics, anything that needs will be fed from here. If for whatever reason I do need to cut power to this particular building, uh, I can just cut the power by flipping the switch over here. And you will see we now have cut the power. So if for whatever reason this building is causing us issues on the power grid, we can just turn it off uh, as normal. All right, so let me just turn it back on again because we do need to generate that. Um, and there you go, it's turned back on again. Uh, as I said, I will discuss power drain and how we uh, detect the power of each, each building and what effect each building has on the power grid, I will show you guys in a later video uh, on that particular one. But for now, I really just wanted to show you the power grid and how it works. Um, I'm going to give you a very, very rough explanation uh, of how this actually works. Okay, so um, I have got armor stands, all right, uh, and at each, let me just, let's just really go and do the solar power thing. So at each uh, so, so uh, solar panel over here, okay, so these are our, our, our sol solar panels, it right, runs right around the city, okay. When a, sol a solar uh, panel is activated, I can deactivate it and it'll then lessen the power, it'll stop 
this uh, solar power from panel from connect collecting power. But how it basically works is over here I've got an invisible armor stand. So if I game mode three, um, game mode three, there you go. You can see it. Okay, and this is just called solar. Right. So th there's a solar. Uh, there's an armor stand. There's an armor stand. Okay. So every single one of these lit uh, solar panels has a armor stand on it. What this armor stand is doing is it is detecting whether or not it is standing on top of a lit uh, red sun lamp. If it is, and it is daytime, okay, it will then add one to our battery power or one to our power grid. Okay, so all of these will then add to the power grid. So if we make it uh, uh, time set day, Okay, and then you'll see how our, our uh, solar power will kick in. Okay, so we have quite a few of these running, so it really goes up quite quite quickly. All right, so and I, at any time I can turn off the input of the of the solar panels by just turning off uh, the actual individual solar panels. Okay, I then also have the exact same thing happening to each and every one of these uh, wind turbines, where I have a uh, on-off switch that turns turns them on or off. Uh, the water, the water one is pretty pretty cool. Um, I've actually got a couple set up in my little uh, work area over here, uh, in the center over here. So it is it has to be in running water. If it's not in running water, it will not work. So the way the connect kinetic works is that I just have a standard walk one centimeter set up, and when it just when it when I'm detecting a particular block I'm walking on which is my special uh, sidewalk it will then uh, just tick up and add power to it and then all I've, I'm doing is I'm transferring that power to these armor stands over here which then just creates my display which shows me how far I'm charging when it reaches the top over there it then just sets a block in one of these okay um, as you can see it's now kind of ticking over over onto here as I said I will explain the power drain and how each building actually impacts on it uh, in a later video but yeah guys so um, I really do hope you like this this map is up for download um, do go and explore it I'm gonna put the link in the description um, yeah do go and explore it go and fiddle with the buttons and check out how how the power influences what and, and, and so forth guys thank you very much for watching and as always I will check you all later